Microsoft Windows Paint, a simple graphics drawing software, available in almost every version of Microsoft Windows since its first release, is a free graphics program that comes by default with the operating system. Paint, one of the most frequently used applications on Windows, is a simple and practical graphics editor with a variety of uses. With the tools in this application, you can quickly edit images or create great works of art. When you're done, you can save and show your files in almost any format. Today, we are going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to save screenshots with Paint. Pressing CTRL plus print screen as a shortcut key to take a screenshot in the Windows operating system allows us to save the full screen snippet in temporary memory. With the shortcut key combination, CTRL plus print screen, we can now permanently save modify and display the instant for screen image that we have stored in temporary memory using Microsoft Paint. Now, we will open the Microsoft Paint application to edit our full screen image. For this, we type the name of the application in the start menu. If you have used it before, open it by clicking on the brush painting palette icon that will appear in the menu when you type the first letters. When the Paint application opens, we are greeted with a simple interface and a white background. As a shortcut, we can use the combination CTIL plus mouse wheel button to zoom in and out, or they are zoom in and out, settings at the bottom right of the application window. To transfer the full screen image from the temporary memory, we must first activate the selection mode, then we can paste it with the right mouse button, or use the hotkey combination CTIL plus V to paste the current full screen image from the temporary memory into our background. Now that we have imported our screenshot into Paint, we can make changes and additions to it, or save it as it is without making any changes. First, let's start with saving the full screen except directly, without any manipulation or modification. When closing the application to save it, we are given the option to save it if we wish, but we can also save it with the icon indicated by the floppy disk icon at the top left of the application, or with the save and save as options under the file menu. The format in which we record depends entirely on our preferences. The most common formats such as PNG, GIF or JPEG files are also supported by the software. Since we redirect our screen recording to the desktop, it will be visible on the desktop after recording. If you wish, you can redirect the file directory to the address you want. This time let's take a screen except from Wikipedia that contains written information about the Microsoft Paint application and make changes to it, such as adding footnotes or highlighting. With the full page open, we use CTRL plus print screen as a shortcut key to take a screenshot of the screen we want to take. The next step is to move it to Paint, as we mentioned before. Our screenshot is now ready in Paint. The first thing we are going to do is to activate the select mode to eliminate the remaining part of the mouse cursor in our screenshot and then clean it with the delete key. Notice that instead of immediately deleting the area created by holding down the left mouse cursor while the selection mode is active, we have briefly shown how we can move the selected area wherever we want by holding down the left mouse button. If we wish, we can also use image manipulation techniques other than erasing, such as transfer and transformation. Within the brushes, we will select the marker pen option to highlight the areas we want. The marker pen has a translucent effect, so it does not completely cover the area behind it. It is not the same for all other brushes. Some brushes can cover it completely. If we are not satisfied with any changes we have made to the markup drawing or the application, we can undo it with the undo icon at the top left or with the CTRL plus Z shortcut key combination. Select the rectangle from the ready-made shape tools. Then after giving it thickness and color properties, hold down the left button and create a rectangular shape to enclose the desired area. We create another ready-made shape tool, the arrow symbol, in a similar way. Place it where we want it and fill it with red color because we want it to look more prominent. After giving the start and end points with the curved line tool, 
One of the ready-made shape tools we often use. We determine the bends that we can make to bends and change direction with the left mouse button. To annotate this subsection, we can select the text tool from the application tools and add text from the keyboard in a neat and ready form. The text tool has many properties such as font, size, color, bold, italic or underlined, and we can change them. We transform the text we have created into a more prominent and emphasized form by taking it to the ellipse tool. We add another note using a rounded rectangular message box shape or ready-made text background shape. Then we enrich it by adding a curved line tool to point to another area. And finally, a freehand drawn arrow symbol. Earlier we mentioned that with selection mode active we can move, delete, or modify a selected area by selecting it with the left mouse button. Now, let's apply these changes to the area below our screenshot and delete it. At the border of our background, there is one in the bottom right corner and another one on the right side and a small white square in the middle of the bottom section. By holding them with the left mouse button, you can expand and collapse the background. And when we collapse it, that area is completely erased. Another very important feature is the cropping feature. With selection mode active, we select an area with the left mouse button and click on the crop symbol next to the selection mode menu. This will automatically crop the image to include only the current selection and erase the areas outside the selection. Now we can save the snippet we created with the last changes in PNG format. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications for new videos. See you again soon and thanks for watching.